Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can create a WordPress chatbot without writing a single line of code. So without further ado, let's dive in. So in order to create our WordPress chatbot, we are going to use Tidio. And Tidio is a chatbot platform that you can use to create a chatbot in a matter of minutes. And you can actually use it to generate more leads, increase your sales, but also to automate your support. So the first step that we need to do is create our own Tidio account. So what you need to do is you can just go to chatomize.com slash Tidio. And then if you use this link, you will actually get 20% uh, off on your premium plan. And as a bonus, you can also get two months for free if you choose for annual billing. But of course, you can also use the free plan of Tidio. So if you click on grab the deal, this normally will bring you to a register panel. And here you can just fill in your information. You don't need a credit card and this will automatically create your Tidio account. But I already have an account, so I'll just click on login. And here I will click on login again. And now I am logged in. And if we go to chatbots, then you can already see all the free templates that Tidio provides. So you have a car booster, you have keep in touch on the weekends, you have news and updates, and you can actually use these templates to get started immediately. So you can just click on use template, and then it will give you some information what the template is about, uh, and click on use template again. But in this video, we are not going to use a template because I want to show you how the Tidio platform works and how you can use it to create your own chat automations. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Add from Scratch. And the first thing that we need to determine is the trigger. So let's say we are an e-commerce company and we want to use Tidio to automate our customer support. Then every time a user clicks on the chat icon on our website, we want to activate our chatbot. So here the trigger will be visitor click on chat icon. And the first thing that we are going to add is the disable text input. By disabling the text input, the user is forced to use the buttons that we're going to use in our chatbot. And this will improve the effectiveness of your chatbot because the flow will never break. So we can connect our trigger to the disabled text input. So from now on, the text input is disabled and then we can start our chatbot. So we want to give uh, the user a choice. So we can connect this. And here we want to say something like, okay, I'm a digital assistant, what is your question about? Because we want to automate a customer support, we want to automatically reply to questions. So I already have some text that I have here on my second screen. I will just copy that and paste it over here. And we can say, hi, I'm the digital assistant of e-commerce company XYZ, what is your question about? And then we can say return policy, and we can say order status. And these are actually questions that are asked a lot to e-commerce companies. So there's actually good questions that you should automate with your chatbot. So if they choose for the return policy, we actually want to send them a message with information about the return policy. And if they choose for order status, we actually want to ask from information from them. So we want to know their email and we want to know their order number so that one of our live chat agents can look it up for them. So what we're going to do is we're going to send a chat message if someone chooses for return policy. And I will just copy the message from here, paste it over here, and we can say something like, you can return your order within 30 days. If you want to know more, follow this link. And it's just a link to my website. So we can connect the return policy button to this message. And by default, it will go for the first one, which is correct in this case. So we go with return policy. And if they choose for order status, we want to actually ask them a question. We want to know their email and their order number. So in that case, we're going to ask a question. Yes. And what would we like to ask? Then we can say, and I will just copy this again. We can say, one of our support agents will look up the status of your order. In order to do that, we need some information. What is your email address? And the validation type will be email. And if someone doesn't fill in an email, 
then we can say oops it doesn't look like an email address and we can save the answer to a contact property which will be email by default so we will connect this button order status to this question and then after that we're going to ask them another question because we also want to know their order number so in this case we're going to ask and what is your order number and we're going to save that to a contact property and we are actually going to create a new contact property because the order number is not installed by default so this will be WordPress order number and the property type will be text and we are going to click on create so this will be saved in the WordPress order number contact property we will connect those and once they gave us their email and the order number we're going to connect them to one of our support agents so then we can say thank you for the information we will forward you to one of our support agents we're going to connect these as well and then we need to notify one of our operators so this will be notify operators and when we notify an operator we can also add a message here so we can say okay it is an order status question the email is and if you hit the bracket on your keyboard then it will open up all the things we need so the email will be email and the order number will be WordPress order number so every time an operator is notified they will automatically see the message order status question this is the email and this is the order number and it's really useful because this is all the information a support agent needs so they can immediately start on solving the problem so that will be it and that's basically it so what this pretty much means is we're going to say okay I'm the digital assistant what is your question if it is return policy we're going to give them information about the return policy and if it's uh, the order status then we're going to ask for more information and forward them to one of our support agents so what we can do now we can actually click on test it out and this will open up a new window here and when we click on this this will activate our chatbot and we can test it out so what is the question about the question will be return policy and it says you can return your order within 30 days so that is working and then if we refresh the page then we can say what is your question about then we can say order status and then we'll ask for our email address so let's say I type in some gibberish here so I won't type in an email address it will automatically recognize that so it will say oops it doesn't look like an email address and then we'll ask the same question again so in this case I will fill in my email address what is my order number so we'll just fill in a random number and it says thank you for the information we will forward you to one of our support agents and then if we go to Tidio and we go to the inbox here I'll just open that in a new link and we go to the live conversations unassigned then here you will see order status question email info atomize order number is this so this is all the information the support agent needs and we can join that conversation so now I can say hi I am a support agent and then if you go to Tidio again like the customer will see this so they will see hi I'm a support agent and they will type back hi I have a question and then you can have a back and forward conversation between the customer and the support agent so that is basically working how it should be working and now we need to save and activate our chatbot so when we click on save and activate we are going to call this the customer support chatbot and we are want to solve problems click on continue and now our chatbot is activated and that is working so the next step we actually need to take is grab this studio chatbot and put it on our WordPress website and that is what I'm going to show you right now so now I will go to a website that I have this is just a dummy website what we actually need to do is we need to install the TDO plugin so when you go to plugins you can click on add new and search for Tidio here then you can click on install now and click on activate 
And then if you scroll down, you can click here on Tidio Chat. And here we actually need to log in with our Tidio account. So if you scroll down here, you have already have an account log in, then you can click on log in, fill in your login information, choose the project. I integrate with the selected project. And now that should be working. They also ask for WooCommerce. I will just click on continue because I don't want that. And I will just remove, also remove the cache. So sometimes Tidio will not show up because of your cache. So just remove the cache from your website. And then if I go to chatomize.com slash mm, which is the URL of this website, and I will click on this, it will say, Hi, I'm the digital assistant of e-commerce company XYZ. What is your question about? And then if I click on return policy, it says you can return your order within 30 days. So that is working. And that's how you can set up your WordPress chatbot and use it to automate your customer support. But I also want to show you how you can use such a chatbot to actually get more sales if you are an e-commerce company. So what you can do is if we go back to Tidio, go back to chatbots here, we actually have a lot of templates. For example, we can choose the card booster. We can click on use template and this will bring you with a completely new template that can boost the sales that you get from your card. So I would just go by this how this works one by one. So if the visitor opens a specific page, which will be the card in this case, then we're going to activate this flow. And this will only be sent once for every visitor. So it will not be sent every time you go to the card, it will only send once. And then it will show this. So you can save 10% on this order and you can click on get the code now. And once they click on that, then it performs a check. So it checks whether the email is set. If the email is set, we will directly give them the code. So it will say, here's your code, enjoy shopping. And then here is the code that you actually send them. Oh, and here you need to add your coupon code, uh, but it's the code that you actually sent them. So that's working. But if we don't know the email of that user yet, what we do is we're going to ask for the email address. We are going to uh, say, great, would you like to stay in the loop with the latest news? And we're going to subscribe them for the mailing. And then we're going to give the coupon code. And this is just a really simple way on how you can get more sales by using your WordPress chatbot. And you can do pretty much the same thing if you want to generate more leads. So what I also want to show you are just some general features of Tidio. So also what you have here on the left hand side are the analytics. So if you click on OK here, then you can see how much, how many conversations you have. What is your first response time? Is in the sense of customer support, it's really important. Well, how long does a conversation last? Uh, how many conversations are started by visitors? And you can also see this per operator. You can see the number of leads. You can see the number of tickets. And these analytics pretty much allows you to improve your chatbot over time. There are also a lot of awesome TDO features. So if we go to the settings here, the widget that we just installed, we can also adjust that widget. So we can change the background color. We can change the status, what is set here. We can set it to the left or to the right where you want to appear it on your website. You can change the button label. You can enable or disable the widget sounds, which are default, uh, which are activated by default. You can set up your widget visibility. You can also hide it and you can activate it. And you can all do these things that you would want to do. You can also have routing rules for departments, which is also another feature that TDO provides. So let's say that you have a sales department that's working in TDO and also a support department, then you can determine the routing rules. So for example, if someone chooses for, I want to contact with sales, it goes to a sales agent. And once someone says, I want to contact support, it goes to a support agent. So that's really, useful feature and another thing i wanted to show you is that you can also connect it with your email to create tickets you can connect it to facebook messenger and you can also connect it to instagram and this allows you to create an omni-channel experience with your chatbot which is really great and the last thing i want to show you are the customer satisfaction survey so again this is really useful if it comes down to customer support. So when you enable customer satisfaction, you can ask someone, okay, how would you rate your experience? And then they can just 
fill in one of these emojis. And again, this allows you to improve the answers of your chatbot and improve the customer experience of your chatbot. But that's it. That's how we can create a WordPress chatbot by using Tidio. And in this video, I mainly showed you how you can automatically reply to questions and automate your support. But there are actually a lot more questions that you can automatically reply to. And if you want to automate the support of your e-commerce company, I actually have an ebook on my website that shows all the different questions that are normally asked to an e-commerce chatbot. So if you're interested in that, please look at the link in the description. But that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and also subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on creating WordPress chatbots or on using Tidio, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.